without a doubt, uh, you know, 04, 05, the Broncos had finished third, I think, one year, fourth at the other, and we we bowed out quickly in the semis. And so in 2006, the the post-origin fade-out was happening to the Broncos again, and I think once we lost five in a row, everyone had written us off. Uh, for me, uh, I just stayed in Brisbane and... and, and uh, I took it relatively easy, but some guys uh, were given, it was almost like a mid-season holiday, you know, some guys went to, to Thailand, uh, had a, like a mini trip away, uh, it was, look, I, I think looking back, those, those, that time off, while it took us a little bit of time to get out of that sort of uh, slump, I think that that, that time off in, in the long run was, was of great benefit. I think when... Post-Origin, the guys had had their time off and we'd lost five in a row. The media were talking about, oh, you know, these guys aren't taking it serious. Why would you give them a week off? Um, and in the short term, it probably had its negative impact in terms of, you know, guys just probably, you know, like little things like a couple of guys would have put a couple of kilos on and wait with that time off. But uh, in the long term, mentally, it, it, it's a great refresher and by the time the, the benefits of it came, it was at the right time, you know, just on the, on the eve of the semi-finals. And I think one of the things that, that really, um, I guess, people remember, or the boys remember from that, we were walking down the tunnel at half-time and um, Willie Mason, uh, you know, was you know, his, his character uh, and was probably you know, trying to psychologically scar us even more and uh, we could hear him. And he, he, he was saying it loud enough so we could hear him that, hey boys, we're off to another grand final. Um, you know, how good's this? Uh, so basically, that was like a red flag to a bull, with our, particularly with our big boys. And uh, at, you know, Wayne had just pretty much said, look, we need to be the first to score in the second half and uh, just to get ourselves some momentum and back in the game and who knows from there. And as history shows, that's that's basically how it played out. Yeah, to win in those circumstances in a big game, uh, it's rare. And I think, I think that 31 points that we scored um, in the second half, uh, it just, again, it, just one of those things where you just your confidence if it's that at this level just goes to the next level where uh, you can't explain it you don't know how or what 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 the, what it does but we just went on that that second 40 minutes in that half against Canterbury I guess staring the eyes of defeat you know 26 down but then to overcome that and win in that fashion I think just was a massive um, confidence boost for the team and going into the grand final against uh, the Storm was still a massive challenge though. You know, I think uh, the, the grand final, particularly that one, it wasn't a high scoring game, but it was, you know, the Storm were renowned for the, how much control they had in the play the ball area, so it was a very defensive orientated game. And, and, and I think um, for us, we had a game plan and we executed it really well. I think the previous week against the Bulldogs just gave us that confidence that we could achieve, we could beat anyone, uh, even though the Storm were the short short price favourites for the game. But you remember all the tries, but you know, defensively we were, um, you know, we were just outstanding that night. You know, and I think it was just executing our game plan.